All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual suture material and thread themselves. So if you see here, let's start, first start talking about suture sizes. Now suture sizing is just like the sizing uh, of uh, IVs and injection needles. So the smaller the suture, the larger the number. The smallest sutures are like 10 -0. And uh, you likely pretty much never use those unless you're doing plastic surgery and those kind of things. So O here in 4, so a 4O. So if this were a 7O or a 6O, that'd be something that's very fine used on the face. Uh, typically, you're going to, uh, in most of your uh, laceration repairs, you're going to be using anywhere from like a 3 to a 6O needle. So once again, uh, o, uh, 1O is pretty thick. 2O is thick, you know, less thick, 3O, 4O. So as we get bigger, the needle thread gets finer. That's number one. Number two, let's talk about the actual uh, needle itself. So this is a cutting needle. You definitely want a cutting needle. There's also what's called a tapered needle. Uh, now the cutting needle is going to pierce the skin. It's really, I mean, that's what you want. You, you're, a tapered needle is not going to, it's going to be more tapered at the end. It's not going to pierce the skin like you want it. Uh, and it's better for like soft tissues and other things as well, but not really to cut. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, actual suture, if we can go over the suture material, then I'm sorry, I'm losing focus here. Uh, there we go, suture material itself. So there's uh, different types of suture material. And uh, they can pretty much broadly be uh, uh, categorized into like four different categories. So there's a non-absorbable suture absorbable suture, there's braided suture, and there's non-braided sutures. So really your non-absorbable sutures uh, are the ones that aren't dissolved uh, in the body and therefore they have to be removed so you got to go back to your doctor and uh, get them removed. Uh, an absorbable suture is something uh, that the body's uh, tissue, you know, it, it recognizes it, it will allow it in the body, uh, it will absorb it in, uh, you won't have any issues and you can uh, definitely uh, leave those in. Uh, I definitely, in my practice, when I see pediatrics, I, I definitely try to go for absorbable sutures because kids are you know, they're flailing around and the last thing you want is them to come back in a week flailing around just to get the stitches out. And uh, I'll tell you, it can take some time on, on certain kids who you know just had a very bad experience with the laceration repair or just don't like needles. So here we go. Cutting needle, that's great. That's pretty much all you're going to see anyway in uh, in your stuff. You're not going to see uh, many other things. And we have monofilament here. So uh, you see how it says everything. The type of nylon is the type of thread. It is there. You can have silk. You have uh, other ones as well. Uh, it is a monofilament, so it's non-braided. It is non-absorbable, like we talked about. So you kind of get everything on here. Uh, the three eighths of a circle is about is how round this guy is. Twenty six millimeters, how long the needle is. Yeah, extra things that you really don't need to know too much about. Uh, but uh, the main thing here is knowing that you know four o, five o, six o. So on the face, you're going to be using a six o, seven o. Really, you want to use a finer, finer suture so they're not going to leave many marks. 4 is going to be your pretty go to. Uh, three, mine three, four, and fives. Uh, O's are the ones I usually do for most of my repairs unless I'm going to the face.